This is our time. We choose life or lifeline. We either beg for support or look after our kind. And our kind is behind us, in front, and all around. It's every living soul from the sky to the ground. The only enemy is our capacity to kill, the loss of our faith, and the death of free will. When we give up on that and give in to the cat, we give up on hope and start begging for scraps. Now we're a part of the problem, but we turn our eyes. If we focus on our lives, we can rely on the lies. But the thought remains and we all feel the chains. Then one day the truth starts surging through our veins. Conquering land is nothing more than a grab, and today it's all drawn up in a business plan. A pyramid scam, an intelligent sham, the rules are designed to dehumanize man. A mortgage falls short of your future being bought, so starting your life is more like getting caught. It's all about debt when you're financing dreams, and to prove yourself you're made to spend out of your means. Thrash the cash cow hooked in the machine, milk him till he's dry then throw him to the street. Kids walk by and point and stare, but dad reminds them school means they'll never end up there. Your life's a wheel you cannot resist, and if you try you get mocked on the fifth. You get a bullet in your head or get raped by the fed. You get humiliated by the media then forgotten after death. And while they laugh and sneer, the powers get the all clear, consolidating wealth on a platform of fear. This is no illusion or hidden agenda. If you look back to 2000, you might not remember, but Iraq decided they would regain control of their natural resource coming out of a hole. Three years later and they're back on USD. The country's in ruins and they're slaves to the free. This is just the beginning and they're coming for your kids. The game of chess continues at the cost of empty beds. A flag on a box is a fat lot of good for a devastated widow draped in a black hood. All for a war that we did not choose, that was led by a power with the power to abuse. But illuminated eyes see through military supplies. When we rationalize our fears, there's really no one to despise. And no one needs a weapon when there's no one to hate. It just takes the bigger man to not retaliate. All of you gangsters living in the ghetto, I'll never try and relate. I know I don't know what it's like to be in your shoes, but in life we can choose. And if no one takes a stand, you're just tightening the noose. So when we take revenge for one of our kin, we're just extending the crisis and starting again. We're taught from young to hate each other, but after thousands of years we probably come from one mother. And the skin flowing over your muscle and bone is more beautiful than any order thrown from a throne. To take someone's home because of a political zone, when man was born with a desire to roam? How dare someone take liberties in the name of freedom? It's 2012, we still have peasants in a kingdom. And a dick at the top with a pick of the crop, being born into powers, his claim to the lot. He transcends human rights because we're scared of ourselves. He insults our right to live because we put common sense on the shelf. The real terrorist is the voice in your head, a life tourniquet. You might as well be dead. And the fear of death is winning this game. But we all know we all end up the same. So why do we lie in a bedboard on credit that has no real value but we act like we earned it? Just to make our little existence seem worthy of anything when all we can do is have fun, make a few friends and smile till the end. This album is a message and a simple request. That the future of the planet is a worthy invest. And I know change doesn't happen with one elected guy. But a change in our minds is where evolution lies. We aren't asking for a leader with magic fingertips. Who redefines happiness with the crack of a whip. The realness is found when people all around have a simple epiphany about what's going down. I don't even know you, but you're listening to my rhetoric. And I'll never know if you think it's powerful or pathetic. But take a man's weakness and treat it with respect. Learn from the past so we can one day forget this disgusting obsession with worldly possessions and we can search for utopia with purity and progression. Revolution is the solution to a broken constitution. So we keep fighting for a life, not a stay of execution. <laughs>